Welcome to Combining Like Terms. The goals of this video will be to identify like and unlike terms and combine like terms to simplify an expression. When two terms have variable factors or variable parts that are exactly the same, the terms are called like or similar terms. If we consider the following list of terms, 7x and x are considered like terms because their variable factors, in this case x, are exactly the same. In this case, x to the first power. 2y and negative 4y are like terms, again, because the variable factors or, or variable parts are identical, both in this case y to the first power. 5 and 8 are also considered like terms. Unlike terms would be terms like 7x and 3x squared. Notice that variable factors are not exactly the same. This one has x to the first power, this one has x to the second. 2xy and x are also unlike terms because this variable part is xy and this variable part is just x. Therefore, they are unlike terms. Now, there are many other examples in this list of unlike terms, but I think you get the idea. Now, let's take a look at how we're going to be combining like terms the distributive law enables us to combine or collect like terms. The distributive law states for any numbers a, b, c, a times the quantity b plus or minus c is equal to a, b plus or minus a, c. Essentially what we're doing here is we're multiplying across addition or subtraction. So we have a times b here plus or minus a times c. Now to combine like terms, we're actually going to use this in the opposite direction. And this is what I mean by that. We're going to start with the right side, AB plus or minus AC. And notice how both of these terms have an A in them. So we're allowed to factor out the A. And what's left after we factor out this A, notice how we have B plus or minus C. Normally, the distributive property, they write the common factor in the front or to the left of the parentheses. In this case, we're going to write it on the right. Now remember, we're allowed to do that because this is connected by multiplication. And due to the commutative property, we can change the order of things being multiplied. Let's take a look at how we're going to use this. Let's use a distributive property to combine these like terms. We can see that these terms are like terms because they both have a factor of x in them. So if we factored out the x, we would be left with 5 plus 8. And of course, 5 plus 8 would give us 13 times x, or 13x. 5x plus 8x equals 13x. On this example, it's easy to see that both terms have the factors x, y. But one thing I see in this problem is that there's no a coefficient or number in the front of x, y. Remember, that's an implied 1. So what we can do now is factor out the common variable part of x, y, and see what's left. Well, in this case, we're left with negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. So we have negative 2 x, y. Now, officially, the distributive property is what allows us to combine like terms. But very quickly, most people skip this intermediate step. Essentially, what we can do to combine like terms is just add the coefficients. So 5 plus 8 would give us 13, and the variable part stays the same. In this problem, negative 3 plus 1 would give us the negative 2, and the variable part stays the same. And that's an important part, though, that the variable part will never change when you're adding or subtracting like terms. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more here. So we can see in this problem there are two like terms, so these terms can be combined. This one cannot be combined. So if we know the first two terms contain the identical factor of x, which would leave us with negative 8 minus 4, and then plus the 3y. Now there's a couple of ways to address this subtraction problem. We covered this in previous videos. If we can leave this as subtraction, that's fine, or if we want to convert it to addition, it would be negative 8 plus negative 4. Either way, we're going to end up with a negative 12, so negative 12x 
plus 3y. Okay, for these last two, I'm going to see if we can skip showing the distributive property and combine the like terms. So we have two like terms here, 21c and negative 2c. So to combine those, essentially we have to add the coefficients. So 21 plus a negative 2 would give us 19. The variable part stays the same, so we have 19c and then plus 5ac. On the last problem, we identify 14xy and 6xy as like terms. So we can combine those again by adding the coefficients. 14 plus 6 will give us 20xy. And then this term cannot be combined with the other terms. So we leave it as 19xy squared. I hope that quick review helps. Have a nice day.